Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Lon Paul here, and we're doing our uh, World's Playthrough, uh, Aquarius edition, of course. Um, that the recording of this, as you can see in the background here, we have mostly completed our base. Uh, so we have a pretty decent base going on here. Um, I am working on a couple things in regards to this video series. Um, as some of you may or may not know from watching the series, you know I've been having some issues with uh, recordings lately. Uh, things are not getting recorded properly. The video stops. The audio drops out. Some weird things going on. So I'm actually uh, going to be monitoring this kind of closely. And there are occasions, hopefully, when this video comes out and it comes out in its entirety, you'll see that uh, you know everything seems to be going okay. I've done a complete reload. I've literally deleted and reinstalled No Man's Sky, deleted, reinstalled OBS, um, updated all my drivers, everything's up to snuff. So we should hopefully be good and hopefully those issues will start to fade away. Um, I've got my audio turned up a little bit, so hopefully my, uh, cause I've had not only complaints from others, but from myself as well in regards to my audio cutting in and out a little bit, you know, kind of fading into the background. So I'm going to see if I can't work on that just a little bit. Um, so hopefully this will be a little better for you folks. Okay, so we're going to get started. Uh, we are picking up with the scientist exp uh, portion of this. Um, you may see changes to my base as time goes by in the background, um, but we'll try to pick up every time when we leave off here. So we've got a few decent episodes. The next few episodes of this are going to be completing out the base. This one hopefully will complete out all the base episodes real quick. I want to get scientists done today. I also want to try to see if I can get our agricultural farmer completed today as well. But we're going to do the scientist because he's ready to go and he should be already present inside this new base that I have here. So let's go ahead and head inside and get started. All right. Hopefully we can finish this one out. Convergence Entity Erg. I, I do not think my child experiment is working. They have assuaged my loneliness. And now I have two consciousnesses to fear for it. Consciousnesses? Consciousnesses. Hmm. Anyway. I am losing myself, Traveler. Take my core to a monolith. Let me interface before the Atlas. I must speak to eternity. Uh, the Corvex has no memories of my last journey with their core. Then I tried to reconnect with them, reconnect them with the Convergence. This time they seek the Atlas. I do not know if the monolith grants such an interface or if anything does, except. And core removed. So we're going to go through this baloney again, <laughs> to say the least. All right. Navigational data is over that way. Uh, so we're going to head that way right now. We're going to obviously take our ship to head over there. Beautiful planet, isn't it? Really love this place. It is gorgeous. may not have the floating islands, you know, and these aren't really the floating islands we're looking for, but it may not have those floating islands or floating flowers that I kind of desire in finding a planet, in finding in a planet, if you will, um, but it still works. Let's do a quick scan. That must be the monolith. It certainly looks like one. see if it is. I'd say it is, because it's not taking me anywhere else. All right. So again, as I've mentioned before, pay attention to the color of text when you're speaking to certain things. So let's take a look here. Okay, so this one's like yellowish, ashes of the gabalank. Okay, so notice that it being yellow is more of a neutral state, kind of like Nada and Polo. Uh, think of it from that point of view. Okay? So, more of a neutral state. They're interested, but they're standoffish. Okay? So, much of zeros and ones is what we get for communication here. I approached the monolith and prepared to insert the Corvax core within the dais. Dais? Dais? I think it's dais. The structure looks as if it was made for such a moment. Insert the core. Error, error, Atlas, obey, Atlas, error, error, run, error, run, error, error. Hmm, sounds like my first Commodore 64. I don't know why I'm getting so many messages right now. Life form identified, Corvax Echo, purpose, servant of traveler. Analysis. Oh yeah, I remember this one now. Verse similitude, failure. 
thank you, Hello Games. I just want to thank you very much for putting these uh, 14 syllable words in here so, you know, all of us scratch our heads after a while. Anyway, moving on. Emotional breakdown, traveler infection, solution, terminate, insulate, insulate, protect, wipe. Rebooting. One, two, three. And the monolith is offline. <laughs> thank you, scientist. You have knocked out the network. <laughs> Please continue your travels. And do we have all the, all the animals here? I know that's kind of an ADHD thing going on right now. No, we've only discovered two. Yeah, we want to discover as many animals as we can. Um, because obviously, it will give us nanites. Now we're up to four. We've already doubled it just by looking around from here. A lot of flying ones, huh? Five. A whole bunch over the horizon over there. And some right there. It says plant life, but those are actually pretty far away. We want to discover the animals too, even though we're going to be heading back to the uh, uh, scientist right now. Let's go right over there. I think they should be... Oh, they're right over the hill. Just when you think you're close. Not. Oh, boy. What in the world? Oh, those are the tails. <laughs> what the heck we were looking at there? That was hilarious. All right. And I forgot we have water here, so... Oh, there's no more creature over there. Got it. Nice. So that is up to what are we up to? Six, seven? Let's check. Seven. And I think the rest may just be underwater. Underwater, underwater. And if we go down one, right, with the S, underwater. Ooh. We might have this real quick here. Why don't we hit the water real fast? Let's get this completed out real quick. I know I'm getting sidetracked a little bit, but that's okay. And since we have the ability to recharge our uh, launch thrusters, we can pull a ship in over here real quick. Why don't we do that? Um. Pete's sake. <laughs> there we go. Let's look at that water. It's so pretty. <laughs> to say the least, right? All right. All right, we got the little ball guys there. These may be the attacking type, too. Better be careful of them. There's another one right there. That's two. And if we just get the last one, we're all set. Look. Alluring specimen. Ah, PTSD. Let's see what happens. I'm going to get close. Are they going to attack? Because if these... Yep, they do attack. Okay, well, that's the one drawback to this whole planet, right? Have some fish that attack. It's okay, we could use the Mordite, so it's all good. And they really don't do a lot of damage, you know. It is what it is. Alright, the last one is always going to be the toughest one to get to appear. It always happens like that. That's just the norm of No Man's Sky. They do that purposely to make it difficult for you. What can we use? Uh, let's use the life support gel. I like to hang on to the oxygen as long as I can. Unknown building in the distance. I love to check out the unknown buildings. It's more of a curiosity at this point. We may need deeper water or an ocean to find the last animal. Okay, that's just a campsite. I was wondering what it would, what it might be, but nothing special. Whoops. Sometimes if you hit your jetpack under the water, if you're not aimed right, you'll boost yourself right out of the water. Make another turn. 
is sometimes that that elusive animal will suddenly appear and we don't know what kind it will be because if we just check the, the menu it'll just tell us that it is an underwater animal with a question mark and no picture so All right, so this class of underwater protection module I have must be like a B class or a C class because it really doesn't last long at all. Well, we'll check it out. Ah, nothing. That's as far as we get. We could go fishing. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> we could pull our ship in one more time. All right, let's put this off for another time. Let's pull the ship in real quick. We'll have to check the launch thrusters here in a moment. As my ship lands right on top of my head. Blam! <laughs> All right, off we go. Okay, so where are we going? That way. What a very pretty climate this is. I know I keep saying that. There we go. All right. Off to the scientists. Let's see what they have to say. Probably going to be another reboot process. Alright, so Convergence Entity Erg's shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. I fear for what has happened to their data core. Reinsert the core. Shell reconnection, Carapace Online. Ooh, greetings, unknown entity. I passed my tests. Share in this joy via the exchange of technology. And I got myself a circuit board. Fantastic. It's a formula, though. I didn't get the actual circuit board. I got a formula for building one, which I need polyfiber and heat capacitors for. Yay. How do you feel about structural analysis, stranger? The scientist has once again been reset, but without a connection to the convergence, I fear they are doomed to repeat this cycle forever. <clears throat> Pardon me. From the moment they met me in the space station until their collapse into loneliness. Perhaps if I can find them a convergence cube, they might be unified with the rest of the Corvax and escape. Except. The scientist deserves this chance at reconnection. They have helped me greatly, and they have taken good care of their beacon. Okay. Good for them. What am I doing? <laughs> we have to return to the scientist. We've already done that. Okay, so we've got to go outside the system. Okay, use the teleporter to return to previous systems to find teleporter space stations in the alley. So we can use the teleporter, but we don't know what system we're going to, so we really do have to get out into space and do this. Alright, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and do that. Now, I have accidentally, in case some of you weren't aware of this, I have accidentally uh, proceeded with this particular mission, the main mission, um, only a little bit, just in talking to Apollo, and that's all. So we'll be picking that up here in a very short amount of time. I don't know why he was standing like that. Um, okay. I really need to decorate this place out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, that's right. I'm going to do the farmer in this space. We'll do him later. All right. Through the door. Into the ship. Off we go. Do we want to check the water real quick? Crap. Uh, yes, yes. Unfinished and unrealized. Duke. One more time. We're just going to give it another shot and make, see if this will, animal thing will show up. Heat damage? Why did it give me heat damage? Oh, because I was right next to that crystal sulfide. And you see how many hearts I lost. Good grief. I think I was in permadeath mode or something. Alright, I'll have to work on that. We're still in the water, so we'll still uh, discover things. But we're not getting the one last red creature to show up. Alright, so what we're going to do... Let's go ahead and exit this area and... Get things taken care of. Loop out of the water. Okay. Do we have any... We do. 
Right there, health restorative. Let's go ahead and grab that because I don't like being down that many hearts. Yeah, it's on the platform over there. Oh, right over here. Good. There we go. Health restored. You know what will also help? Um, right here. There we go. Just eat a couple of those. That should get all my hearts back. So we should be all set there. Alright. Back to the ship. Let's get out of here. I think we wasted enough time on that. A couple extra minutes. No big deal. I'm watching my video. I'm watching my audio. Everything seems to be working right now. Good. Hopefully my audio is coming through okay. I've got my microphone kicked up a couple notches just in case. And it's literally right in front of my face. So hopefully that'll take care of it. Alright, where are we going? We're going out into the galaxy. Okay, it looks like we're going to a system we've already been to. Which is this one. Right there. It says we visited. Par Paracali. Par Paracali. And we'll see as soon as we get there. Now, I'm thinking we have to go to the space station, but I don't quite remember. As far as these missions are concerned, after playing them for so many years, I'm pretty sure most of them have stayed the same a little bit. There are certain things I don't recall because I, don't, I wasn't paying as close attention last time, like, again, the color of the text and the names and stuff like that of the individuals you're speaking to, so. Oh, it's taking me to a planet. All right on our way. Now, I think the reason for this... Let's go ahead and recharge. No, 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 no. We want to put that to run down a little further. Um, I think this system is Corvax. Yeah, okay, and that's the reason why. So we'll have to remember this, because we'll need this system later on. This will be good. Looks like it's just starting to go through a storm, too. thick layer of cloud. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just a cloudy planet. And I'm guessing that that's our location. Okay, good. Let's try it. At least we'll get a landing pad out of it. We ought to check our launch thrusters real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Gravity well. Yeah, it's getting low. This one's getting low enough that I think I want to use something, but I can hold off. We'll have at least a little bit more time on that. Once it gets down below 10%, we'll recharge it. Ooh, you see that stuff on the right-hand side? Those are... Those are something very special. Let's go ahead and grab that while we're here. Yeah, these guys. Just because they're right here, it's not most so much the navigation data. Exosuit. Upgrade charts. Yes, that's what we're looking for. We don't really need them, but because they're here and they're free, we'll grab them. Alright, so what are we doing? We have to go inside this structure, I'm guessing. Yes. I'm going to let it do its analysis. Okay, Corvax facility. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to kind of pick a fight with some sentinels here. Don't think I see a quad nearby because those are the nasty ones. Let's go to the bolt caster. Okay, good. Here we go. Do we have things flying around us? I'm just curious. Yeah, we do. How many animals on this planet? Again, it's worth it because we can get the nanites, but I know we can get nanites for free. So we've discovered four of the seven animals on this planet at some point or another. So that's interesting, to say the least. All right, this guy here is going to get very upset with us in just a moment. That's five. That's six. Good deal. And we just have one more to discover on this planet, and we're done. Let's find out. Underground. Of course it is. The elusive underground creature. We could go underground. Um... There is an underground right there, it looks like, I think. Let me just check. There is an underground here. It's not very deep, though. Um, and sometimes the underground creatures appear on the edge of it. So we wouldn't have to worry about discovering them. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's go inside. This guy's going to get upset, but that's okay. Hopefully we won't get too much damage. 
Got it. And we're through. And reload. Okay, good. While we're here, grab ourselves some stuff. Make sure we're at full health. Maximum. Good. Okay, we're all set there. Crypted data. We got some nanites out of that. We got some credits. What else we got in here? Hey, look at that. Fallen unit. Uh, more nanites. I'll take him out. He can't he can't find me anyway. And this gives me an extra pugnium. There we go. See? And usually does it give me nanites? No? Okay. I thought he would. Anyway, no big deal. Uh what about the plants? Do plants give us anything? No? Okay, worth a shot. Alright, so it looks like we scavenged everything we can out of here. Let's go ahead and grab whatever this is. It says, as I approach the terminal, I sense an immense sadness and grief. I hear the echoes of a thousand souls, entities whose life was stolen from them long ago. Non-convergent user registered. Notice it's in purple, by the way. It's in purple this time. Very interesting. I associate that myself with the Void Mother. So, interesting. Non-convergent user registered. Almost like it's, hey, I know you. On the display, I see the production line of this factory, a vast array of cubes infused with the memories of an entire species. <clears throat> they appear to be caught within an endless cycle of trauma, unable to do anything but repeat their tragedy. Well, that's kind of, uh, uh, bad. I don't know, I can't think of another word for it. Um, hang on a second here. Losing my voice, I gotta be able to, uh, hydrate. <clears throat> okay. Vast array keeps infused with the memories of an entire species. Okay. The terminal identifies these items as convergence cubes. So, do we upload the memories, cease production, attempt to take a cube, or just leave? Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload memories and see what happens. I attempt to upload my own memories. The convergence immediately senses the presence of a foreign mind. It's gone blue, by the way, everything in the screen here. That's interesting. It cries out, thanking me for my openness and compassion. I am rewarded. So I'm given a convergence cube. Of course, that's what I wanted to get. So that's good. All right, so this terminal is done. We can exit. All right, so what do we got? We got a whole bunch of these guys floating around. We'll head back to our ship here. Again, take another scan. We got some animals floating nearby, but I don't see any red dots anywhere, especially around the opening to the caves. I'm checking anyway, because to get that one last creature would be fantastic right now. What is that, by the way? Ancient data structure. Didn't we just get those? Did I miss one? Bet you anything I missed one. I don't mind checking, but I'm curious as to how I missed it. Oh, check that out. Well, well, well. It's down below in a cave. Okay, interesting. Again, I'm not seeing anything down here. I would love to go down there and check it out. I am very curious. As you know, I'm a curious individual. All right, let's make sure we mark it because I don't want to destroy it. And just always cut out to one side a little bit. There we go. And there it is. There was. There was just one all the way down below. That's hilarious. Alright. Let's switch over to something else. And now we're going to take a look around. And since we're underground, I'm hoping that this will encourage the creature, whatever it might be, to suddenly appear. And I say suddenly. Hint, hint, hint. Suddenly. Suddenly, please. I don't see anything. Alright, so... Is there anything we need while we're here? We could use... Humming sacks. I'm gonna get some albumin pearls. I don't know if we ever use these in any kind of recipes. But I'm gonna grab them while they're here. Again, to add to the collection of stuff that we should be getting. Some of them look like they're left behind, but you have actually picked them up. Just a little glitch in no man's guy. Alright. I don't see any red dots. Besides our lovely, wonderful sentinels that are in the distance. Okay.
All right, let's see. Time. Yeah, go figure. This guy just does not want to appear. And as it is, like I said, with most planets, you're just trying to discover that last half. Always gets to you. Now, I'm going to try a little trick here. Somebody taught me. Want to find your way to the surface, but don't want to look for your original tunnel? There we go. Fill it in. And it will automatically pop you out to the surface. Look at that. Is that cool or what? There we go. Cool. I like that. That is a fantastic way to do things, man. Glad somebody mentioned that to me. Very fast way to get out of situations. All right. One last check around real quick. Just to make sure we haven't missed any red dots anywhere. Nope. All right. So one day we might be able to come back to this planet and discover those. Maybe not. There it is. Out of here. So, we can't get back home from here. Um, how far away is the space station? Follow the trade lines up there. If you're wondering about those, those white lines you see in space are trading lines. What those are is like highways in space, so to speak. There are paths that a lot of ships take to get to space station to other trading outposts and stuff like that on other planets. So, yeah, if you're wondering about that, that is kind of a neat thing. Um, it's not necessary, but there you are. Okay, and look at that. I was wondering about this system. This is our original system when we first started. So, go figure. And since we're not far away from the space station, we'll go ahead and take it. Hey, look what's flashing. Bottom right corner. Looks like our pulse drive is finally there. All right. In we go. Looks like we're still okay on the recording. Hopefully you can hear me all right. I do show that my audio sometimes drops a little bit lower than it should be. So bear with me just a second. There we go. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. All right. So... So I don't know how high it's going to go. It's going to go into the higher range and it's going to sound kind of loud at times, but I basically I have some adjustments made to the microphone and the audio that allow it to, um, you know, basically knock out noise in the background. Okay, this is my master base, so this is where we're headed right now. I may just actually disassemble our other base, but we'll see. All right, should be there just a second. Still recording, so that's a good thing. Now, things should load a little bit quicker than usual. I know that uh, No Man's Sky has had a bug with loading lately, but I'm wondering if I was able to take care of it by doing the reload of the whole game. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I really need to put that on a switch or something like that so it's not open all the time. Anyway, moving on. Over to our con our scientist. Stranger, I fear, fear something unusual is occurring. And this is this facility shielded in some way so that signals are unable to escape? Convergence entity ERG is once again becoming aware of their isolation. The Convergence cube may be their only hope. Connected. I insert the cube. The Corvax is temporarily startled, but soon li their lights begin to flash in a familiar pattern. I cannot be sure, but the plan appears to have worked. Forgive me for asking, Entity, but did I know you once? You seem familiar. These terminals, they are of my own design. One machine even called me its parrot, attempting to convince me of its love. Ew, I deleted the bug, of course. I run, I run a proper code base. I did harvest some useful blueprints from its store, however. Would you care for them? Whatever relationship he, we had developed has gone, replaced only by this cloud of unknowing. Perhaps it was an error. Perhaps this being was the true self of the Corvax all along, and the one I knew was just a sickness, a distortion. I cannot know. Except the blueprints. T. 
Take care when constructing those objects, Traveler. The plans were created by an error, after all. You notice that his communication, by the way, his title is, is purple. So, keep that in mind. I don't think it has anything to do with the race, either. I really do think it has to do with their allegiance, if you will. Not necessarily allegiance, but more wh which way they lean. So, being purple, he's leaning towards the Void Mother. Corvax seems to always have. We'll get to that later. So we got a heat capacitor, uh, what do you call it? Not a heat capacitor, but we got the, um, hold on, recipes. We got the recipes for the heat capacitor and the liquid explosive. Calls them blueprints, though. All right. Um, is that it? Let's check. Yes, that's it. That was our last uh, last one for them. Okay, great. So we're on to agricultural research. So we're done with this. Let's go get our... Um, what do you call it? Farmer. Um, we've got to wait for it to catch up here. So we're going to spend some time on the space stations. Okay, let's go to our current space station. I don't think... Oh, wait a minute. Nope. It's at the space station. Let's go to the space station. We're just going to take our terminal here. Uh, space stations, current system. There we go. And we're on our way. Now, you notice that this system was discovered not too long ago by another player. So, it isn't a new system. I haven't discovered this on my own. Very interesting that that happens once in a while. All right, so we're here, and it looks like our farmer is up here. Hello, attended Merjo. Friend, you have worked for me, yes? I have served in the finest kitchens. Notice his name, by the way, Attendant Mergeau, is green. Now, I've associated red with Atlas, purple with Void Mother, of course, yellow with neutral. Green seems to be content, I think, in my own mind, content with being who they are, and they don't really care which side they're on. They're on their own side, they don't care, they haven't been able to pay attention. So, interesting, though. It's almost like they're kind of neutral but they're just content and don't care which side anybody's on. All right, continuing on. I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across 12 systems, and each one producing prize-winning cuisine. I grow all my own ingredients. Hire me, yes? The Gek chirps happily at the sight of me. They promise to help me grow all kinds of crops on my world. The required paperwork has already been signed, apparently. The farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural terminal. We accept. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it. <laughs> Good deal. So all we have to do now is just head back to our base, as it says. So we'll go over here, take the terminal again. Now, to the station is quick. Usually back to our base is a little bit longer, but we'll see what happens here. All right, off we go. Yeah, as I said, a little bit longer. I thought we would appear a little bit quicker, but it is what it is. No big deal. There we go. All right. And we're back. So now we just need to go over to the terminal over here and look. Lo and behold, there is our attendant. This is a home of glass and metal travelers in dire need of my touch. But no need to fear. Or I come well equipped for such work. Continue. So we need to make a gut rock flower is probably what we're going to be doing. Um, we get the um, blueprints for large hydroponic tray and hydroponic tray, the smaller one. Okay. Your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life and death after all. Take this hydroponics tray and these gut rock flower seeds. Grow the flower and see how fine it feels to produce life. Attendant Mergeau is already bedding in nicely. They have already given me the means to beautify my home. If I prove myself a worthy farmer with this gut rot flower, perhaps they will share more of the agricultural secrets. Except, wonderful, my friend. So, soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume for which this plant was named. Gut rot? Really? I don't know if I want that smell in my house. I already got kids. Anyway, um, let me see here. One thing I want to check real quick. Where is my power? My power is over this way, is it not? Do I have a door over here? I do not. Let me just check something real quick. Uh, you. Mm -hmm. Left side. No, pardon me, right side. So grid power usage, 30 kilo, kilo, 
kilopascals maybe used and 500 available that's what i'm looking for 500 available and how much we're being used we want to make sure we're not going to tax the system which we will not at any point in time it looks like all right so i am going to develop or build these so i'm going to start with the large ones i do have enough to build at least let me see hold on it'll tell us one <laughs> okay so one is built uh, we need more metal plates to build the second one. We'll need probably three, I think, of these. So let me get... What, four, five, six, seven, seven more plates? There we go. Seven plates. I gotta put some stuff away, by the way. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And I think that's enough. Let's find out, shall we? Two... You notice they're kind of locking in three. Yep, we're good. Now, we do need to power these. So let me get back to the power area. Electrical wiring. And because we're our wiring will be hidden, so I'm not going to worry too much. I'm going to put it over here on this side. Wire them together. Is this? Yeah, okay. Click. All right, so those two are locked in. Where is my nearest terminal. I think my nearest one is down here. And over here is my nearest spot. So I'm going to run from here to here. And that should power them up. And even if the wiring wasn't hidden, it would be mostly hidden anyway. Good. Alright. Excellent. So we're all set here. Now we need to build a... Let me check here because for some reason it's stuck on something. Alright. So now we need to do the plant. Now, to build, make this plant, we want to go back to... Where is it? Here? Nope, those are things. And more things. Notice I've got a lot of stuff that I can build here, guys. Yeah. I acquired all kinds of neat stuff. So I am in no way done. This is a plant area, but it's not the plants you're looking for. These are not the plants you're looking for. Here we go. So it's in our... I don't know what category this is, but whatever that is, uh, the teleporter module is in. So here's our gut rot flower. We need 40 fecium. So we're going to check our... Um, what are those things called down here? Cargo containers, yes. And see what we got. Check this one first. Okay, good. Uh, let's put some of the stuff away. We'll hang on to the... Oh, uh, no, let's go ahead and put it away. Uh, what's this? Mordite... We have a construction research con terminal, but I'm going to put it away for now. I don't really need it. Let's put the albumin pearls in there. We have a ton of glass. Good golly. Let me put some of that away for now, because we're not building anything right now. Okay, good. You notice that stacks in this are bigger, by the way. You put 100 of these in there, you can, even though you can only carry 50 in your own suit. Uh, there. Oh, this is completely disorganized and annoying me. Okay, hold on. Oxygen, carbon, ferrite, silicate, eh, sodium nitrate. Very annoying. I'm going to hang on to the meaty chunks because I find that I might just need them at some point. We'll keep one portable refiner on us. And we'll go ahead and keep the salvage data on us for now as well. Um, I'm going to keep these guys on us, the carbon nanotubes and the microprocessor, just in case for some stupid reason I need them. And I got these for duplication purposes, as you know, the extra refiners. All right. That should get it going. It looks a little disorganized, but I like the layout. Over here, we're looking for Fecium. Okay, we need 40. Let's get rid of 3. We only need 40. There we go. All right, so we got 40. All right, that should be all we need. And you now you know why I've maintained keeping all this stuff. It has a purpose. All right, so... Let's make our gut rock flower because we should have the ability to make it. And we just make it up here, put it in, we're done, and there we go. Now we have to harvest 25 of it. I should have remembered that. That's my bad. So we could wait for the plant to grow, or you could go back to your storage container and remove 25. Ah, good. And all we have to do, whoops, that's not the entrance. All we have to do is hand it in. See, return to the farmer. And here we go. As he's busy. Okay. How is the gut rot flower, friend? Does it blossom? Is it heavy with fruit? And in the 25 fecium. Beautiful friend, we shall make a farmer of you yet. While I prepare a dish of fragrant wonder, another agricultural challenge awaits you. 
So we get the frost wart now. 50 frost crystals and 25 dioxide. The frost wart is a tricky thing, friend. It, is, it flourishes where other plants fail, thrusting its roots through the ice and snow. But such a hard life is not for us. Plant one here in your own home and be spared the pain of winter. Attendant, attendant m m I keep getting this wrong. Mergeo asked me to grow a frost wart plant and prove our hydroponic system can re replicate any environment except. Wonderful friend. It is a delicate thing to look at for such a hardy plant. Please do enjoy it. Okay. So I don't know if we have all that. That's the thing. I think we need dioxide. And I really would like to get some because that's very handy. But we'll check our storage container yet again. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We got frost wart. And I'm going to take extra this time. We're going to take about 100. Yeah, that should do it. 99, fine. We'll grab one more. There. Okay, and do we have any dioxide? I would be surprised if I had any, because if I did, it'd be on my person. All right, so we've got to go for dioxide, unfortunately. Don't think we have anything over there. Okay, good. All right. Alright, so first things first, uh, what we can do, because we've been to a number of planets, right? We've been to a cold planet too, I think. What you can do is you can go into here first, go into your discoveries. Obviously, it's not on this planet. And you can check out some of the systems you've been to. Like this one is our original system. And we'll check out some of the planets here. Like this one has dioxide on it. And we're in the system as we speak. We're over here. But we can go to Nawarthen 5 and go get our dioxide. So let's go ahead over there. Dioxide's great for a great many things. I do recommend keeping a bunch of it on you because it is excellent for life support systems. It is a much easier um, to maintain your life support based on that. Okay, well, it's not the ringed planet. Got a couple more over here. Up oh, there's the planet we're going to. Okay. And it's not very far away. Good. Oh, we need to recharge finally. Yep. One shard, thank you. Excellent. And dioxide's not hard to find. It's usually blue deposits on the planet. Kind of like cobalt. Uh, I would love to find a landing pad. I don't know if we're going to find one. We have one campground right here. Oh, what's that? Is that abandoned or is that real? Let's find out. I think it's real. Just can't see the landing. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. Alright. So how are we doing on this planet? Only two discovered. Yeah, I guarantee you since we... Even though we have ocean and we could find someone in the ocean, it's going to be hard to find the underground ones at some point. But I'll go ahead and grab them anyway because I want to get as many nanites as I can. And one way of doing so is by this, discovering the creatures that are here. There we go. That might be the underground one too. That's interesting because they're near the cave. What else we got here? What is that? Salvage containers? Ooh. Salvage containers are worth money. But we have other means of getting money, as you know. So, not worried about that. Alright. And this is what? An observatory. Okay, that's going to discover something out under the planet. Not really interested in that. Alright, what we're interested in is we're looking for... Silver? No, that's not it. Uh, dioxide. 8 838. Is there anything closer? Silver? Wow. Really? Not really, huh? Copper? That's interesting. Okay. Copper? That's about it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we'll lock in on this one. That's 927. Isn't there one that was a little bit closer? I mean, we didn't move, did we? There it is, 838. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't see that. Alright. Alright. So, let's go ahead and head over there. I guess we can run it. Um, I don't like using my fuel up too, too much. We discovered all these animals here? We have not. There's one or two over here. One right there. 
I'd love to check them out, but there's somebody in the way. You. There we go. And a big one. There we go. Okay, there's another one. Anybody else? As far as there aren't many flying creatures here, I figured we'd have a couple of birds of some sort. Oh, a whole bunch of animals. Look at that. Problem is, you don't move very fast when you're in this mode. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's eight of the 13. Very nice. And we do have the ocean here. Oh, there's some flying ones right there. Nine of 13. I would expect the other four may be... Ooh, look at that. That's ten. How many do we have under the water? That's ten. That's three more we have left. Let's check real quick. Down one. Underwater, underwater, and underground, of course. We haven't gotten the underground one again. That's okay. Where are we going? This way, right? Okay. Sit over there. Take this opportunity to gather some resources as we're going. The quickly gathered ones, anyway. So, unless there's a cave nearby, we're not going to discover the last few just yet. Like this cave right here. Oh, that's a big cave. Good golly. Look at that. And that was one of the underground creatures, so the other one's going to be even harder to find normally. I say normally, but, you know, it's proven me wrong before all of a sudden it just shows up and we're like, oh crap, let's discover that real fast. Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay. We also may be too close to the uh, cave entrance. Sometimes they won't appear because you're too close. Down we go. Looks like we're coming up on sunset. We do have our protection, so that's at least something. We'll go ahead and get that going. I will remember that we'll have to need better underwater protection for swimming, because we're going to need that later. Or yet another episode. How we doing? Looks like the video is still recording. Audio looks like it's doing pretty good. Hopefully my adjustments are better. Oh, here we are. Okay. Switch to the terrain manipulator. Smallest setting, please. We want as much as we can get from this. We can glitch duplicate as much as we want later. But for now, it would be nice to have as much as we can get from one deposit may take a couple moments. This doesn't appear to be a terrible deposit. It looks like it's okay. It's not a huge deposit. But it's enough. We'll get a few hundred out of it. That's good. And, you know, in relation to oxygen, in, uh, as far as if you were to recharge your suit with oxygen instead of uh, and, you know, life support gels, they cost you about 50 di uh, dihydrogen, uh, plus other items, etc., etc., etc. You don't really want to make those too often. They're good for emergencies. I mean, once later on you have a lot of resources, yeah, you can do life support gels to your heart's content and keep them on your person. Um, oxygen works, too. Looks like we got everything out of this deposit. How do we do? 238. Okay. So, just to show you. Um, life support, where are you? There you go, right? Only takes nine in comparison with 23 of this. See? I mean, it's it's like two and a half times less, or more oxygen, if you will, uh, or a life support gel. So only nine to recharge that to 100%. This can also use di dioxide to recharge it to 100% rather than a battery. So there you go. This has to use either a life support gel, which we have down here, or oxygen. I'll put the oxygen in for now, but I don't like this upgrade. It says efficient, but it really isn't. I'm going to be getting an S-Class one sooner or later, and we'll upgrade that a little bit. Okay, I think we're all set. We have plenty of dioxide now. We will make more. Um, we can even do that right now, real quick. There's many different ways you can do this, folks. I've had a lot of suggestions on how I can do this and how I can do that. Really appreciate it. Um, by all means, keep it going because a lot of other people will read those comments. And I don't know if we got that placed right. No, we did. We did. We're okay. 
All right, so that gives me a good amount of dioxide now. We should be good for a while. Okay, I'm going to hit the scan button real quick in case that one elusive cave animal pops up near a cave entrance that I don't see from here. Ooh, we could use that. Uh, we're on the laser. No, we're not. I always make that mistake and I end up destroying whatever it is. Ooh, I didn't see you. Okay. Let's just gather these resources here real quick, because this the sodium nitrate, I, I hate having to remake that or reproduce it. And the glitch duplicating is great too, but if you've got the resources right in front of you, just grab it. Like this. See? Just go ahead and grab it. There we go. Grabbing tons of sodium on the way. Back to the ship. There we go. See? No harm in doing so. It's all part and parcel of this thing. Um, any animals? Real quick. We're near cave entrance. We've already discovered you. Look down because, you know, you're looking down towards a cave, so you might as well just see if there's something that appears underground as a red dot. And if you have to, you can dig your way down if you can't quite get through the entrance itself. I don't see anything. Alright. Moving on. More sodium. I am not going to feed the creature. I'm trying to get plants. Get out of the way, creature. Only lives to serve. It's the only thing I could think of when I think of creature now. Unbelievable. Amazing how certain things like that, they uh, dig, your, dig their way into your brain and you can't get them out anymore. <laughs> Alright. Now, most of these facilities usually have caves nearby. So it's no harm in checking, as they say. I don't see anything. Okay, good. Not good, but good. That's okay. If I'd get the underground one, I'd go after the water one in a heartbeat. Alright, so we're done here. Let's go ahead and jump in. Hey, you know what? Let's just grab it. Yes, we can duplicate it, but if you can get free, get free. See? Ah, it looks like we already got two out of that, so no big deal. Alright, on our way. And we're going back to our base, right? So we want to head that way. On our way. Okay, good. So how are we doing here? We're doing pretty good. We're not quite at an hour into the episode yet, so that's okay. It looks like the audio is all right, but it keeps dropping out a little bit. So I apologize for that. I even tried lowering my speakers over here so that way it wasn't picking up any side audio. So, I'll just lean a little, little bit closer here. Hopefully that picks me up a little bit better for you folks. Alright, so there's our landing pad. Land. Don't get it confused with the other one. And... Shunk. There we go. Alright. So we're ready to go. We can now create our frost warp plant. I was hoping to move this along quicker, but it is what it is. There we go. Frost wart. We're going to put it in the back. There we go. Got it. So frost wart is now made. And we have plenty of resources to turn into him. You have mastered Frostwort. Your base is already feeling more homely, yes? 50 Frostwort. Does the way it shimmers in the light not enchant you, friend? I have lost hours to its gentle glisten. But now, a plant of great contrast. Solar vines. We need selenium. Selenium. Selenium and phosphorus. <clears throat> we'll need 100 selenium because we'll have to turn in 50 to them. And we'll need at least 25 phosphorus, which is a very handy element to have anyway. So, it says, so he says, uh, your next crop will be solar vine, a plant that grows deep within the mantle of scorched worlds. It seeks out all heat from the sun or the core below. Its roots can extend to such incredible lengths that once it was believed they never ended. But do not worry, friend. Here, with our facilities, their growth shall be more manage manageable. Intendant Merjo wishes me to cultivate solar vine, a plant that usually grows only in extreme heat. Except... If only I shone as brightly as the solar vine. I envy you the joy of discovery, friend. Okay. So, selenium. Phosphorus. I would have thought we would have had phosphorus, but I guess not. Again, I keep forgetting to gather the, those resources, even though I might have selenium in here. Let's see. There. Got some. ton of it. I need a hundred. Oh, crap. 
Good. There we go. Got a hundred of it. Let's put the rest... Oh, we got everything gone. Excellent. Okay, good. We're being efficient. We're going to keep you... That is the dioxide down below. Actually, let me move all of these things around just a little bit to clean it up. All right, so here is our selenium. We need phosphorus, and I know we don't have any in our inventory over here on the right. Okay, good. We know what we need to do. So, discovery. Pull back. Do we have a hot planet here? Fiery, selenium, copper, phosphorus. We do. And that's the one with the uh, rings around it, so that's where we're headed next. Phosphorus is also very handy for other recipes. <clears throat> Pardon me as well as for recharging your suits, um, what do you call it? Heat transfer shield, I suppose we can call it. So we're going to go to this planet next. Good that we have all these planets right in the same system. We have a cold planet, a hot planet, a paradise planet. What's our fourth planet? Just I don't remember. Oh, I don't know. It's unknown. Okay, so we'll figure that out later. So I think what we're going to try to do, I mean, I know we're coming up on the one hour mark and I like to cut things off there, but I think what we're going to try to do is see if we can't complete out the farmer as well so we get all these missions taken care of in one swell foop, as I say. And then we will continue on with Artemis missions so we can get that moving along. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, we're looking for... Phosphorus, it'll be a ground-based deposit, usually red. Is that? Might be someplace I can land. Let me check it out. Looks like just a campsite. Okay, we're going to move on. There's another building over there. Looking for a red deposit on the ground. Kind of hard to see because the ground itself is actually kind of red. That doesn't look... Oh, it is. Another observatory. Okay, we'll take it. There we go. And we're down. Let's take a look. And we've got copper, of course. Uh, let's see. Copper. Copper. Phosphorus. 718. When it gives you a time, that's too far away. <laughs> okay. Salt. We'll have to fly there is what we'll end up having to do. Okay. It looks like we're going to be flying. Can we get that to lock in? Let me see. It disappeared? That's interesting. Hmm. Make it over here real quick. Is that it? That's salt. Yeah, look at that. It disappeared from my viewer. There it is. There it is. 822 it says. I'm going to fly this time rather than walk it. I know we could use the resources as we go, but let's just go ahead and fly over there. You know, it's no big deal. A little quicker. It's more It's more quicker done. It's, qui it's quickly done better this way. I, I don't know how you want to put it. Clunk. All right. Uh, Bowcaster, terrain manipulator, smallest setting, and go. And this is a nice deposit, too. Once we get about 200, I'll go ahead and just eat up the rest of this in medium setting. Okay, we're up to about 60. And I guess we hit the edge. It may be shallower than I thought. Okay. 20. Got another. We have to get up to about 140 on that, unless we hit some more of the other stuff. Up oh, 120. Okay. Okay, we should be there now. Let's go to medium and chew up the rest of this and just gather it all up real fast here. Depleted. Depleted. Okay. all the rest of this out real fast. It's just extra now, so again, we can glitch duplicate it, so we can just get more whenever we want, but I don't like to leave a deposit partially uh, chewed up, if you will. 
think that's it. Close enough. There we go. How much we got? 387. I think we'll be alright, don't you? Uh, we'll have to use 100 of it, so let's just duplicate a little bit more. Uh, exosuit. Phosphorus. We'll make three rounds of it. Again, this is handy stuff. How much did we get? 774? That's fine. That's fine. I think I didn't think we only got one of them to go through. That's okay. So that's more than enough now. We are good. And we are going to keep the phosphorus on us as well. Because again, we can recharge our heat shield with it. Heat protection, if you will. I think we're lined up on our base. Hopefully we're not lined up on the anomaly. So that worked out really quick. Now we can just grow the solar vine wherever we're at. Now, another thing you could do, I don't know if you know this or not, but obviously whenever you're on a planet that is um, where you find those plants, you can literally plant the plants in the ground if you wish. So you don't have to make a hydroponics tray. I know that from an expedition we did where we had to grow something as part of the expedition to speed it along. So that is another way you can do things. Just keep that in mind. For instance, if I'm here, I can select it, and I probably can't do this here, but if I try to grow it here, it will just tell you that it can't. Like, watch. Invalid biome. But you can plant it outdoors on the right biome. Keep that in mind. I'm going to keep this open. Whoops, I just literally went under my stairs. Okay, go over here, and we're going to put it in the back one. There we go. Done. Wait a moment. Return to the farmer, and here we go. That only took a few extra minutes. Uh, you have successfully cultivated solar vine? Yes. I can smell its smell its heat from here. It's incandescent splendor. What does it smell like? Red? Uh, confirm 50 solo. Selenium? Yes. Wonderful. Savor this moment, friend. For now, I lead you into more dangerous realm of botanical study. And we're going to do a fungal cluster. We need fungal mold and ammonia. Ammonia we do not have. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, let's see. Fungal clusters are cultivated with toxic environments, but you have proved you can master much. Yes? Be careful as you work, friend. Clusters have been known to cause illness and hallucination of prop improperly uh, handled. Extended exposure is ill-advised. Okay. Tenant Burjo wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow fungal clusters. Accept. Wonderful. While you prepare the fungal clusters, I will check our ventilation systems. One can have too much of a good thing. Indeed. Okay. So we need 50 of that, the fungal clusters, which we think we, we also have that. Let's jump over here. But we'll need ammonia. So here's our fungal mold. We'll need a hundred of it. Take two. Oh, you bonehead. Come on. There we go. Got it. All right, we're all set. And we need ammonia. Okay, so we have a phosphorus now, you'll notice up here. So I'm going to drop this down here. Somehow I have an extra spot down there. Um, yeah, we'll leave everything where it is right now. Okay, and we need ammonia. I'm pretty sure we don't have ammonia over here. It'll look like that. See the radon here? It'll look like this. Sulfurine, radon. I don't see any ammonia, I don't think. I'm looking. Nope. Nope, we do not. And I don't even think we need the sulfurine and the radon, to be honest with you, but we'll have to go for ammonia. And none of the planets that we have here, I think, have it. Now, little trick here. So since we don't know the fourth planet, we can go there and check it out, of course. You can go to your catalog, and hopefully, materials and items, see? You're gonna, you find it in here. So let's see, raw materials, none of those is applying. Here we go. Ammonia, there you are. And if you select it, you just see it says locate substance. If I go ahead and do that, it pins. Okay, so in the galaxy map, search for ammonia-rich system across the galaxy map with X within the starship. What that means is, is that that fourth planet does not have it. Okay, so we're going to have to go look for it on our own. Off we go. So that is a trick in finding certain items. And then once you get into space, that's our next thing. Okay, we're in space. Once we go into the hyperspace menu, the galaxy map, it will point you at a system. So you notice it is pointing us at that system there. 
let me let me go through free explore galactic core current mission that see and it's pointing us at this system it says we can find it there and if you highlight it like that it'll show you that there looks like there's a the icon for it here so this is our original system if you remember we're gonna head there right now so one of those planets happens to have ammonia Now, if you start out your game and you are on a system that has these items, if you have the inventory space, grab what you can. You can also get it at trade stations. So if we stopped at the space station and checked out some of the um, pilots there, there's a possibility we could get it there too. Sometimes even the trade terminals. We probably should have checked the trade terminal at the place that we were at. I didn't think about that. Now, it should direct us, I hope. Oh. Uh, we don't have to have it direct us. It's literally on that planet right in front of me. And I think that's the planet I started on, if I remember correctly. Isn't that interesting? Alright, so we're heading into the planet. And the deposit is a ground-based deposit. It will look like a solid ground-based deposit, if I remember correctly. I think I see... Over here. Did I see something over here? Yes, I did. Looks like a building. Looking for a landing pad. Ah, there it is. And down we go. And what is this? Is this a... Okay, that. It's a manufacturing facility. Okay. I wondered. I thought it was, but, you know, it is what it is. So we're looking for ammonia. There is one right there. It's already highlighted for us. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and head up here. <clears throat> we're going to go to the train manipulator. We're going to make it small. There we go. Okay. We'll pick this up. Excellent. It's right here. Not far at all. Again, a couple hundred, and then we'll pull back and get the rest. Watch the numbers. We're at 60. 80. Okay. We're over 100 now. Hundred twenty or so. Hundred and sixty. Hundred and seventy. Eighty, ninety. We're up to two hundred now. Okay, good. Let's. Well, that wider and we'll clear out the rest of this just to gather it all up now keep in mind you don't need to if you don't want to some people are more OCD like me it's not just the ADHD it's the OCD you gotta clear it all out at least enough that it satisfies I think that's enough don't you? okay I'm not gonna look uh, back to the ship. And there we go. Now, we've discovered, I hope, all the animals on this planet. Let's find out. <clears throat> nope. There's one probably underground. Yes, it's always underground. I don't know what that is. What's up with that, I should say. And if you look, you can look for structures underground and see if you find anything in that general direction, but I doubt we're going to find anything. Looks like we have another unknown building over there, anyway. <clears throat> nope. Nope. Don't see it. Oh, what's that? Metal fingers. Uh, do we need anything? Why am I in my tool? What does it want me to build? I don't know, because I thought we were doing that. Okay. Alright, back to here. Uh, let's see. We've got copper in my ship. You know what we don't have? We could use uranium. And I don't mind grabbing some extra gold. How far away is that? Not far. Let's go ahead and do it. Take advantage of these situations when you can. Try not to piss off the, the locals there. My jetpack was about to lose charge, and I knew I would break my ankles if I did this, so. 
And hopefully there's no sentinels nearby as we start to grab these. Got plenty of gold now. Uranium is good for the other ships. And with this particular... You remember how long it was taken with my old um, multi-tool? Look at that mining laser at the top right. Look how long it's taking to recharge, to, to overheat. I love it. I love this. This is great. Good. No sentinels around to attack me while I'm doing this. I think this is the last one. Oh, there was one more behind it. Okay. And boom. Is that it? That's it. Excellent. We've got 500 uranium out of that, too. That's great. All right. Definitely well worth it. Because the gold is handy when you're creating bases and other things, so it's good to have it. Um, and the uranium is just, you know, good for all kinds of things. It's including recharging certain things, like for, like your... Uh, some hazard protections, like ammonia can be used on this, so we're going to go ahead and grab it. So we've got our toxic shield recharged. So there we go. Okay, we're gone. So we want to go to... Uh, do we want to go to the space station? Eh. Let's just go back. Oh, for, on our way. Now you saw the um, the skull down below. That's a pirate system, obviously, but that's for the uh, the mission under a rebel star sky. Hmm. Now I gotta check. <laughs> Go figure. Good news is it looks like we're recording pretty well. So doesn't look like anything's falling out. Looks like our audio is okay. All right. Off we go. Where is our... It's behind me, isn't it? There you are. Back to our base. Nice. Okay. And landing. Good. Okay. So, we'll be able to get this done real quick. Um, how much did we get, by the way? 300? Let's quickly do this. I didn't want that. I thought I selected you. There we go. Let's put the ammonia in here real quick. I just want to make sure we keep plenty of it. There we go. We should triple it now. 930. Good. Good. Back to you, sir. He was bowing. Uh, did you know that nanite clusters sometimes resemble the fungal clusters? Nanite spores... Oh, you know what we just did? Oh, let's read it. Nanite spores arrange themselves in accordance with some arcane purpose when left in the wild. Abandoned structures pulsate with their seething mass, lurching out from derelict terminals. Nature precedes technology. I wonder, what does this universe inspire in you, friend? Uh, attendant Mirjo clutches their head, apparently in pain. They say nothing else. Ask if they're all right. If I ask if they're all right, but they gesture for me to leave. I do not ask anymore. Fascinating. I don't know what that was about. Um, so we're going to make our plant. Wait a minute. Let me go back to our log. Okay, good. We're in the right place. Uh, fungal cluster. There we go. And created. And we have 50 more, so we can just turn it into the farmer. And there we go. Are you finished then? Let me see those fungal clusters of yours. It has been such a long time. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You learn quickly, Traveler. Now that you have mastered some of the more dangerous flora, let's go one step further. Uh, gamma weed. Uranium. See, we told you we needed that. And gamma root, which we have in our our cargo container. The Gek lost our homes, our cities, our identity in the last great war, Traveler. World upon world bombarded by atomic strike. All that grows on the worlds of old are warped things, deadly to the touch, screaming with the memory of what they once were. One such crop is gamma weed. We shall cultivate it here. Let us lead the fighting to others, friend. We shall grow things instead. Attendant Mergeau wishes for me to cultivate gamma weed using the hydroponics tray. Except, I await the results with anticipation, traveler. Now, please forgive me. I have not been able to re sleep recently. I must get some rest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's another story. Let's run back in here. 
And we should have gamma weed right there. Now I'm going to take the whole thing and I'm going to keep this ammonia on us a little bit. I'm going to store some away. I don't think we need all of it. There we go. Uh, but we're going to take all the gamma weed because we're going to duplicate it right now. Not the large refiner. Keep doing that. Okay, portable. Suit. And where are you? Gamma, gamma root. There you are. Let's triple that because we need more. Okay. Got it. 438. Excellent. That should be enough. And we should be able to just plant it. Okay. Back to here. Gamma weed. Right there. Done. Back to the farmer. Are the gamma weed cuttings ready? They require delicate care in spite of their chaotic origins or perhaps because of them. Who knows? Show me your successes. And over gamma root. Ah, I will be able to make such fine dishes with this plant. It is a pity that you are unable to gorge this radioactive treasure traveler. But perhaps I may offer an alternative. We will sate your hunger with beauty rather than food. So now we get the Gravitino host. That's interesting. We need... Oh, we got three plants. That, the Venom Urchin, and the Albumin Pearl Orb. Okay. We shall cultivate a crop of Gravitino host. I, shall be, I will be happy to tell you the history of this flora, should you wish it. My stories and theories seem to bore the Grek friend. I suppose I am closest to the Corvax and my wish to study. But even then, those machines lack all sense of surprise, all passionate wonder. I must confess that I frequently feel lonely. Attendant Mergeau wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow Gravitino hosts. Many believe that the Gravitino hosts cannot be cultivated through artificial means, but I know they are wrong, friend. You will reap the benefits of my experimentation. Okay. So to do that, what do we need? Let's find out. We need 25 chromatic, which I have. I have magnetized ferret. I don't have enough silver. But we can do that. Let's do it right now, shall we? So we'll have to do this a couple times. We might have more in our storage, but we're here. Okay, that's three. We'll do this a couple more times. Nope. And should be in my inventory of my exosuit now. There you are. We've got to put some stuff away in our storage, by the way, but we'll do that in a moment. Try to line those up real closely. I made that mistake last time. Yeah, we're up to 300 now. We should be able to make one. Let's go back to here. And Gravitino Host, there it is. And we should be able to plant it right there. Good. And we need to harvest a Gravitino Ball. But we should have some in our inventory. Let's check. I hope we do. Pretty sure I thought I gathered some, but we'll find out in a moment. No, I don't see any. Crap. I really thought we had some. And we can't really get it by other means. We're going to have to go to a planet. All right, let's put this away. That is our what, gamma root. Okay. The silver we're going to put back in our ship. And the gold we'll put in our ship. I'm going to put some of it here. I don't think we need all of it. What do you think? There we go. Was there any in our inventory there? No, there wasn't. Okay. Uh, that should do it. Uranium, same thing. We don't need the whole thing. I'm going to keep a limited amount on myself. There we go. All right. And we're going to have to start expanding our exosuit inventory soon because it's getting a little crowded in there. All right. Excellent. Moving on. Now, like I said, let me do that real fast. I'm going to put gold and silver back in our ship. Precious metals like that I like to keep over there. Sometimes a chromatic metal too, but... There we go. Okay. Let's find out where we're going. So, back to the catalog. Materials. Exotic. Um, don't know if they're in here or not. They might be under plants. I think they're under plants. Exotic goods. Gravitino ball. Pin unavailable. Because the item has never been crafted. Okay. So we've never actually gotten any. So we're going to have to find this on our own. Now, the best place to find them is aggressive sentinel planets. Um, the Gravitino Paul takes a little while to, to, to grow. So we're going to have to go there. Um, okay. 
I'm pretty certain that the fourth planet is not. I know that these are not. And they would tell us as we go across them whether they're, uh, what do you call it, uh, aggressive sentinel places. Interesting. Uh, what do we got here? Okay. Let me go to our ship. And I'm, my mind is racing right now because I'm trying to think of somewhere that I've been that had aggressive sentinels. I just want to get out into space a little bit. Let's check out the other planet over here. That one in the background. There we go. Just barren. Okay, so that's not going to help us any. So we need to explore. Let's go to our galaxy map. Uh, let's see. Let's open that up and check things out. Doesn't really have to be a small system or a... Ah, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Let's go there. It could be good. We could go to a system that we were already at, but I want to go to a system we've never been to that has a lot of planets at it. And then we can check the planets that are there and see what we find. Now, because we're hyperspacing again, there's a possibility that we're going to run into a, a, a pirate battle here. So, again, I apologize for the length of this video, but it's going to. I want to finish out these last few things for the base. And then we'll continue on the Artis, Artemis mission next episode. Okay. Let's check planets. Why do we have an incoming message? Ah, uh, let's go ahead and grab it. I know what this is. Uh, trade success. It's fused with static and it's alien speech garbled. One thing is unmistakable. Life form is in discreet distress. Their broadcast contains a set of coordinates. We're going to input the coordinates. Uh, it fades and shut down my starship communicator. The coordinates point to a nearby planet. So what is that? This is a planet in distress. This is for your new settlement, if you wish to do that. But we are not doing that. I'm going to go back to the log, and we're going to take that out of there. We're going to go back to agricultural research. Okay, so that way it's not bugging us. Capped planet is what we got there. Uh, let's look at the next planet. That is salvageable scrap. Paradise planet. Go figure. We're running into a lot of these. It has a uh, ring on it. Ooh, that might be worth looking at. I don't know. We'll take. We'll check it out here in a minute. Let's take a look at you. Is that a moon in front of it? No, I don't think so. High energy, gamma root, copper. I don't think it is. Pretty sure it's not. What about you, my purple friend? Gamma intensive. Okay up here high sentinel activity that doesn't help us much and we're back to the red one I don't I think we've already got that one but there were more planets here all right I guess not um I do want to check out that planet real quick because of a couple different things real quick so bear with me just a second Exploration is part of the game, guys. Uh, if you're not exploring a No Man's Sky, I don't know what you're doing. Because that's part of it. I've literally spent the last few days on my own just playing and exploring and looking for stuff. Uh, on my regular save, I found myself a, a cool little ship that I've been wanting to get for a long time. Um, I didn't expect to find this ship, and I wasn't very impressed by it at first. But... Now I'm liking it a lot, so, you know, really, really cool. Let's get out of our cockpit and check it out. So it doesn't look like we have any floating islands here. I don't think it's the most impressive planet I've ever seen. There's a lot of rocks here, and I don't see any trees. I see a little bit of ground. Ground cover. Beautiful water. Beautiful water. The sky is pretty, too, but not my kind of planet. Okay. That's all. That's all we wanted to do. Alright, so this system's not going to work for us, unfortunately. Off we go. Galaxy map, here we go. I think our hyperdrive is okay still. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're alright. What about you? Looks like that's another system he's discovered. 
Uh, let's go here. How big of a system? Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six planets. I didn't see any moons in there, but that's okay. So one more jump here. And we can always hit the space station as well to get it, to make our way back. Almost there. Yep, so far so good. Looks like everything's smooth. Looks like we're still recording. Doesn't look like the system wants to crash. I Sentinel activity. Ancient bones there. What are you? You look like a cold planet. I see, yes. You are more accurate. Okay, good. This is looks also like a cold planet. Verdant. Not necessarily cold star bulb. That's actually almost paradise. Almost. There's a planet behind it too. What about you? You look like a barren rock. Planet of Light, yes. You know what we do have there? We have glitches there. And we've already seen that one. That's Torrid. Alright, let's go over here. we got a planet behind you. I don't know why we can't find an aggressive Sentinel planet, but Gravitino Balls are going to be hard to find otherwise. Alright, that should be far enough. Up oh, there you are. Very far away. Selenium and Hot Planet. Phosphorus, Silver, Activated Copper. Alright, so it doesn't look like we have what we're looking for here either. Um, let's move on. Wrong button. How are we doing on charge? Anti-gravity. Let's at least get this recharged. Okay. And our pulse drive looks like it's okay. Alright. Not pulse. Hyperdrive. Alright, let's look for another planet. How about you? Three planets. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go there. Just hoping that, you know, uh, the odds are more in our favor uh, when we go to a system that has obviously more planets in it. So, uh, approaching an hour and a half. I really didn't want it to take this long, but we are almost done with our farmer. Almost done. I think, I want to say the Gravitino Ball one is the last one. I could be wrong. Can't quite remember anymore. Getting old. Yeah. That's a cold planet, but we'll scan it anyway. Just because, yep, high sentinel. This one has a storm going on right now. Fiery dread world. Oh, sounds like a pleasant place to visit. There's a planet over there. I can't quite see it, and there's another one. It looks like behind it. Alright. Over here. Wind swept. Over here. Ball of dirt. Terraforming catastrophe. Yep, I don't think we're going to find much there. Alright, we got two planets we can discover behind it, so let's get beyond this one. I want the other one to appear too. It's going to be a little further back. Let's get through the rings so we can get a clearer view. There we go. And that one looks cold as well. Forsaken, actually. Okay, and there should be two more planets back here? Interesting. There's a moon. I didn't know we had a moon. Bungle. And unmapped. Oh, okay. We've already seen that one. We just went to the other side. Well, well, well. We're not finding what we need. Um, one of these had high sentinel activity. Really thought we'd find a... Let me just check it out. I'm curious. I want to see if there's any Gravitino Balls on the High Sentinel Activity ones. Um, I don't think there are. I think you have to find an aggressive planet. You know what we could find? Ooh, I didn't even think about that. I just remembered another way we might be able to do this. Okay, slow down. Nope. 
What a time to sneeze. Um... What's that? Oh, really? Yeah. Let's check this out real quick. Just want to see what kind of deposit we're looking at here. Ooh. Oh, if I'm counting right, it looks like eight of them. Uh, let's see. Sorry, bad timing to go through a sneezing attack at the same time while I'm trying to record. Unbelievable. Thank Kevin. Thank Kevin's my microphone has a mute button on it. Most of you would be in another room by now. <laughs> okay, yep. Just won't stop. Okay, so we named it Curious Deposits. Uh, we got our laser. Let's see how far we can get with this. And a deposit. 800. Let's see how much we get. It's a pretty good deposit. Of them. With the right laser, it doesn't take long to take them all out. There we go. How much should we end up with? Nice! says junk, but no, that's actually worth it, too. Good, good. Pretty decent deposit. That also means that there's other deposits on this planet, and it is a good thing to remember. All right, we're going to recharge our cold protection. <laughs> Grab some oxygen on the way, because it happens to be here. Okay. Dense carbon, my friend. We only have about 400 oxygen, so grab it while you can as well, since these guys are here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this real quick, because I can. There we go. And it doesn't look like we're in, it's finding any Gravitino Balls here, so... What's my other item that I was thinking of, that I kind of left you hanging there for a moment while I was sneezing my brains out? Well, it is to try to find yourself... Some ancient ruins. So why don't we head back to the space station here. Let's go to the, um, let me see, the cartographer and pick up ancient ruin um, items. So I think that would work. Boy, the pulse drive on this is not efficient. We're going to have to get an upgrade for it. Do we even have an upgrade for it? Uh, it should be down low right now. There it is. Yeah, we only have one. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we need some upgrades. We'll hit the cart cartographer. We're going to hit the ship guy first, and then we'll hit the cartographer. We'll see what we can find. Uh, over an hour and a half. Crap. I really wanted to stop at the hour and a half mark, but didn't happen. Oh, stop gesturing at me and just talk. There we go. Purple, you'll notice. Uh, let's see. Pulse engine C, positron. Launch thrusters, that's pretty good. But nothing for our... Yeah, all we've got is a C-class pulse engine. I'll grab this because we can. We got 3,000 nanites, so we should be all right for now. I'll go ahead and install that. Uh, where are you here? Hold on. That's hyperdrive. That's our pulse drive. Guns, shields. There we go. Okay. All right, that'll start. 
Down we go. Cartographer, what do you have? Uh, specific charts. Okay, so the charts we got. We got... These are secret places like Sentinel locations. These are emergency locations, so these are like crashed ships, crash freighters, um, sometimes abandoned buildings. This is inhabited outposts, it says. Okay, so that we don't want. Uh, let's see. Alien cartographic... Yeah, this is what we're looking for. And we also have artifact. Ooh, ooh, no, this one. <clears throat> this is the one we're looking for here. Let's get... I want to get a few of those. I'm going to get five. Okay. And that should do for now. I think that'll be good. That'll do for now. How are we doing on... We have eight navigation data. Okay, good. All right. So that should get us what we're looking for. So rather than stay here, let's go back home. I want to check the trade terminal. Just because. It's always good to grab some ferrite dust while we're here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anything we need... Tritium is a good idea, too, actually. And look, they have ammonia. <laughs> Go figure, right? Let's go ahead and grab it. We have plenty of money, so it's not like we can't... We don't, you know, can't afford it or anything. All right. Heading back. We're going to go back to our world, and we'll do it from there. And that way we're closer to our base. All right, good, good. I think we got this. Maybe ten minutes. Maybe ten minutes. We'll check the Gravitino plant while we're here, of course, but I'm pretty sure it takes, I want to say, oh gosh, certain plants take longer than others to grow. They have various times, like Frostwort, for instance, I know it takes an hour, so, and they're the quickest plant to grow. So I'm pretty sure the Gravitino balls, I want to say, take an hour and a half to two hours to grow somewhere in that general area. We'll find out in a moment. Just have to announce my presence. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Growing time, one hour and 40 minutes. So, yeah, yeah, those take almost two hours to grow. All right, so what we're going to do is go to our ship. We're on the wrong side. I always like to do these from inside the, sh the ship. Let's move this over to the ship, by the way. Okay, so our charts are in the ship now. Artifact. Why? Because it doesn't take you on a big pullback while it's looking. Uh, ancient Ruined. That's what we're looking for. Hopefully not terribly far away. Off planet. <laughs> what? There's no ruins on the planet I'm on? Are you kidding me? Fortunately, it's at the it's at a close planet, so I'm not really too concerned. It looks like our pulse drive needs to be charged. Luminance engine, if you will. Object of interest, uh, that would be a traitor. I'm not really worried about them. There, recharged. Okay. And if it's the ruin, I think it is. Hope, yes, it is. Good. About to create some Gravitino balls. Unfortunately, we're also about to pick a fight. And I'm not going to fight the Sentinels today. Sorry, guys. This episode's long enough. And I'm sure you would agree with that. Uh, the easiest one to get is up there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it. If we want more. We'll get more from our plant later. And if you look in the distance... Uh, where are they? Wow, 30 seconds, huh? Where are they? Oh, crap. Crap, crap. So, we'll give a little bit of a run here going on. <clears throat> you can't harvest anything as far as, like, you with your laser, but you should be able to pick things up. There we go. Hey, nurse. There we go. Like, if I try to shoot that, it will reset the clock. It won't reset it completely, but... See? There's one right there. And... Timer's up. 
I like to get condensed carbon when I can find it, especially early game. Okay. All done. And we just head back. All right. We, we could have gotten into it with these guys. We really could have. But we're not. Once again, have we discovered all the animals on this planet? 10 of 13. Right. The rest were in the water. That's right. Okay. Off we go. One underground. Okay, where is our sh little base? Should be over there. There it is. Head to the farmer thing. So now we can present that to him, and it should complete out our farmer. I like the fact that the space station is close by the uh, our home planet here. That's very handy. There we go. Coming in. And landing. <clears throat> okay, and we'll turn it in. Ah, I know that sound anywhere. You carry gravitino balls, do you not? Hand it in. Ah, it is like greeting an old friend. Let me see. Truly wondrous work, Traveler. Okay. So now we've got another plant, cactus flesh and pyrite, which I think we have both of. We have seen so much life in frost and heat, nuclear winter, and toxic wastelands. You should know by now that no world is truly barren, friend, even if there seem to be a few signs few signs of life. Take the echinic, ech, echinocactus, for example. They are found on otherwise barren worlds, waiting for the moment to thrive. Just think of what they will become in this superior environment. Attendant Mirjo wants me to cultivate a echinocactus, a plant that usually grows on barren worlds, except I look forward to the results, friend. Well, crap. Okay. Pyrite. And we need the cactus flesh. Please tell me we have some. I thought we did. Doesn't look like we do. Right. Wait. We do. Ha ha. I'm putting you away. Okay, uh, so I put the runaway mold away, but I'm going to keep the cactus out. We're going to make some more of it. We need pyrite. Do we have pyrite in here? Now, the good news is, is we can make pyrite with some of that gold we were talking about. There we go. Go figure, right? I always get a kick out of that because of, you know, certain things. Anyway, moving on. Uh, not you. We're going to do the cactus first. Because we need to duplicate that. There we go. Should get all three. Good. All right. And we're not going to waste our refiners on that. We want to go in here. Where's our big refiner at? Where did I put it? Put it over someplace. Are you kidding me? I didn't put my refiner in here? Come on. Where is my refiner? I didn't set up my refiner. I don't believe it. I know it's not upstairs. Hey. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm I'm disappointed in myself. I'm sorry. Hang on. Can we put it under the stairs? It would look funny. Sitting under there at the sides, bulging out. No, let's not do that. Let's put it over here. Whoop, what happened? I hit a button. There we go. Okay. I think we've got it lined up okay. I'm just upset about it. Ugh. Okay. Explains why I had so many microprocessors in my inventory. Um, what are we doing? Gold, right? Where'd it go? 381? That's fine. Okay. Now, it says we can make it. Do we already have pyrite on us? No, we don't. We need to 25. I'm going to put it in my starship. Because that's where you normally keep it. Okay, let's make some. There's our cactus. We have to carry another 100 back to the farmer. We already have that. Let's do it. Okay, the Aquino cactus must have bloomed by now. Is it ready, friend? Can I see it? 100 cactus flesh. 
I only have two plants left to show you. Your training is almost complete, friend. I am so proud. We have the star bramble. We need star bulb and paraffinium, which I know we have paraffinium. Uh, I want to share so share something with you, something beautiful beyond compare. Star bulbs are grown from the rarest star brambles found on lush worlds, unspoiled by war or death. This is why I wanted to become a farmer to tend to such sublimity. Uh, so sublimity, maybe? Attendant Mirjo wishes for me to use the hydroponics trade to grow star brambles. Accept, of course. Excellent. I must go and speak to the overseer. Apparently they are unhappy with my performance. Perhaps this crop will change their mind. Okay. And you are almost done with that, so I'll let you go. I need star bramble. And paraffinium. We only need 25 paraffinium, so we don't have to carry much. But I'm pretty sure we do have some in here someplace. Hold on. Uh, you're probably seeing it more than I do. Platinum. Nope, that's not it. Come on. Oh, we already had some of that. Okay. Oh, we had some silver in here, too. you got to be kidding me. I thought I had paraffinium, and I thought I purposely made sure I went out of my way to get some. Put the cactus flush back. No paraffinium. The good news is, is most of the paradise planets have it. Um, but we do need... Star bulbs. Right, 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 right. Do we have star bulbs in here? I don't think we got those either, did we? Well, for Pete's sake. We've got marrow bulbs. We don't have any star bramble in here either. Crying out loud. Ugh. Go figure. Fortunately... This is the right planet. As you can see, we have paraffinium and star bulbs right on this planet right here. Uh, star bramble 600 away. Let's just mark it for a moment. Sweet root. Pulpy root. Something underground. Sweet root. And we'll need paraffinium too, so we're going to have to take a look around for that. Uh, impulse beans. Copper. Paraffinium 321. Paraffinium. How far? 443. 126, we'll take that one. Heptaloid, we, we don't need that. Silver. Alright. Off we go. Train manipulator. We don't need much. We're going to keep it on medium setting and just gather what we can. Hopefully we'll get 25 out of it. And because it's so close to our house, I'd love to be able to fill it in, but I don't think it'll let me, because it was a deposit. Is that it? Looks like that's it. Yeah. Maybe? No? Will not let me fill it in. Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay. Back to the star bulbs, which were over that way. Get back towards the ship. Run into something while we're on the way. How much paraffinium did we get? A hundred? That's fine. That's fine. We don't need a lot of it. Yeah, you saw me jump in my ship. We're going to take a shortcut. We know the, uh, the star bulb is up here. There it is, right there. Do this a little bit quicker. It's rock. It's right by my ship. That's okay. And since we already have our gloves on, this makes it easy. We gotta grab enough to also turn into him. And the star brambles, they, they are handy for other recipes too, so if you want to grab some extra, please do. There we go. Grab that while I'm here. Okay. Should do it. Head back to our base. There you go. So now we can make our plant. Ah, uh, yeah. Longer episode, huh, guys? It's alright, it's alright. Gotta get past this. Let's make our plant. There it is, Star Bramble. 
Put it in the back. Yes, I know. Must attach to a structure. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Attendant. Star brambles have bloomed. Yes, pass them over for examination. 25 star bowl. Then only one task remains. The Mordite root. 40 Mordite. We've got it. I cannot pretend to be a farmer anymore. Their overseer has made it clear I must be as the others of my species are. I must trade, sell, accumulate. But I will make a final meal before I leave, traveler. The overseer requested it. A dish made from Mordite root. The death element. Go. Grow the final crop. Attendant Merjo wishes for me to use the hydroponics trade to grow more dike roots. Of course, except the overseer asked for one last meal with me before I go. I must ready myself. Good luck, friend. Okay. Let's put the stuff away and grab our Mordite. That's in here. Uh, let's see. So, Garfinium can go in there. And the star bulb. Okay, good. And we need Mordite. Mordite, Mordite. There it is. Mordite. There it is. Okay. And I think we're going to need more of it, to be honest with you. So let's, again, duplicate. How much did we need, by the way? 40? Yeah. We may have to only turn in 25, but I want to make sure we have a little extra, just in case. There it is. This will give us plenty of extra. We just need to do this once. There we go. Whoops. We really have to do something about that. Maybe put a, I'll put a wall in there. Uh, plant the plant. In the back. There you are. Mordite root. And it's planted. Farmer. This should be it, guys. This should be it. You grew it, didn't you? The Mordite root is done. Hand it in. 25. Let me see it. You have mastered so much of the botanical art, my friend. To see that under others understand its virtues, well, it gives me hope. It is a pity you can digest so little of, our own, of your own produce, but creating life is its own reward, is it not? The farmer has no more tasks for me. They tell me that their contract is at an end and that they will be returning to Gek territory. As they discuss their leaving plans, they watch the ceiling carefully. It is not clear what they are looking at. Suddenly, Attendant Mergeo grabs me, telling me not to trust the Overseer, that their fellow Gek may not even be a Gek at all. They seem to suggest that their food was somehow drugged. But this can't be true. I've shared meals with the Overseer, and I'm fine. They would never do anything to harm any of us. The Overseer only wants what is best. Doesn't sound creepy at all, does it? A moment later, the farmer stops speaking. They assure me that they were just joking and bet me not to speak of this matter again. Uh, thank them. I thank Attendant Mergeo and leave. They have been a loyal friend. Okay. And you notice that it's still highlighted above him. Talk to him one more time. Uh, I'm not feeling like myself, Traveler. I do not think I should go. Not just yet. Yes, that's right. I will stay. The farmer appears to, be appears to be refusing to leave, despite a lack of continued payment or directives from the overseer. They spend their days tending my crops, no longer pro proposing any tasks. They claim they have nowhere else to go. Smile at them. Tenant Mergeau smiles back, happy to be here among their plants. That's it. So that takes care of all the episodes and doesn't end any creepy at all, does it? Hmm. Okay, so we are literally done with our base. I mean, we could expand it more, of course, but we should be completed. Let me put away the Mordite. Uh, we're going to hang on to our refiners. Uh, okay, we're good. We've got everything on us that we need, need. We're good to go. All right. Let me check the log. Okay, expanding the base, right? Aid the scientists to learn to build how to build circuit boards. We've already done that, though. Oh, we have to make one. Let me see. We need a heat capacitor, polyfiber. We need acid and unstable gel. And we need frost crystals and selenium. Acid and unstable gel. Let me look at those up. Unstable gel requires 200 cactus flesh. Acid, acid. Oop. 25 Mordite, 600 Fungal Mold. What do you know? I'll tell you what. Let's make this a two-hour episode. We've got five minutes. Let's see if we can't complete this real quick. Uh, we're going to need everything out of here. Okay. Selenium. I don't think we need the Frost Crystal, but I'm taking a crystal. Uh, uh, uh. Mordite? Do we need the Mordite? I don't know. Let's just grab it anyway. Fecium. I'll just... Well, what the heck? I seem to recall that we needed something else. Hold on. So, in order to create this, I need 
We can do a heat capacitor right now. So let's do one. So that's done. We need... Uh, let's see. Unstable gel. Okay, we got that. We need... Acid. Acid's right there. What do we need again? I need... 600 fungal mold. We're going to have to do this a few times. Okay, let's do the fungal mold real quick. Nope, oh, not that. There we go. Thank heavens we're doing it this way, right? Fungal mold, fungal mold, fungal mold. There you are. Okay, we're going to have to do this a few times. Okay. I could make another refiner. But... That's weird. I thought I dropped them pretty good. Hold on. I thought I dropped them literally right on top of each other. Let me get them lined up so they're kind of intersecting. There we go. There we go. Okay. One more time. We only really need to double it, so we'll just do once. There you are. There we go. Just one more time. There we go. Should double it. What do we get? Good. All right, we got it. Now we should be able to create the acid. There it is. Acid created. So what did we need? We got a heat capacitor. We needed... Hold on. Circuit board. Where's our circuit board at? There it is. So we need a polyfiber, right? There it is. 200 star bulb. That's what we needed. And what was the other one? 100 cactus flesh? Okay. Star bulb. Okay. We got this, guys. We got this. There you are. Looks like they're intersecting. Okay. All right, we got it. Should be enough. We need to create the polyfiber. There it is, one. Should be able to make the circuit board now. We got it. So why did I create so much fungal mold? And what did I need the acid for? Who knows? Back to the bat cave. Okay, we're going to put the acid away, because I didn't. I don't know why I had to create it then. I must have been reading something wrong. Uh, let's put all the rest of these items away. Oh, frost wood. Yeah, we did. Okay, so we have our circuit board. Let's go turn it in, shall we? There was something we needed to complete for this, so let's just go ahead and get it done. So here's the attendant. I trust our scientist was able to meet your needs, friend. They have the circuits we demand. As I approached the overseer, I am almost certain I heard them talking to themselves, spitting out words and phrases in a tongue I recognize but do not understand. But seconds later, there's no trace of the venom I thought I heard. I must be mistaken. Intendant asked me for the circuit board. Give him the circuit. The overseer is strange, but no more so than any of the other beings I've encountered. Indeed, they have been more helpful than most. I hand over the circuits and receive my reward, which is a galactic trade terminal, which we can build right now. Ah, friend, you will be so happy with Attendant. I have drawn up plans for some starship technology, but cannot yet sync my design with your ship. I shall need a gravitino ball to perfect my device. Okay. Well, I should have grabbed a second one. A gravitino ball is, is required to finish their promised starship technology. Okay, we'll accept. You will not regret it, friend. It is good we work so well together. Okay. What I'm going to do is we're not going to do that in this episode, okay, guys? We're going to finish this out real quick in the next episode and then start back on the Apollo episodes. I think this has been long enough, don't you? So we've acquired quite a bit. Um, okay, so we can make a trade terminal in our place right now. I don't know where we would put it. Oh, maybe right there. That's a good place for it. I think I can do that now. Hold on. Trade terminal. Will it go there? It's trying to put it on the door. That's hilarious. Oh, I can do a standalone trade terminal now? Awesome. Let's do that. That's cool. It looks like it'll let me do put it right there, too. Let's 
put the trade terminal outside. I like this. This is good. And make it as a standalone unit like that. Cool. I don't know if that's always been a thing, but I like it. Good. Okay. All right. We're good there. Got a trade terminal. Yay! All right. Anything else? Um, I think we want to do the Gravitino Ball. I really, really want to get that done. Uh, it says high security worlds, but that's not true. Because we know better how we could get one. Okay, let's do that. We know what to do. Let's do it. Into the starship. We need an ancient ruin. I think I just found one. And this one is... Very cool. Why couldn't it show me this last time? 40 seconds away from my base, and you had to take me to another planet last time. Unbelievable. Down we go. Good. Right type of base. Why don't we grab a few of them and really tick off all the... Uh, you know, all the guys here. Uh, train manipulator. We'll need to find one right there. Hold on. Let me get closer. Alright. So there's one there. We can't quite see it, but trust me, it's there. We'll know how to get to it later. I want to clear out some of the terrain. There we go. Alright, good. We can get there now. We have one up there we know of, and there should be one... This one there. One right there. And there it is. Okay. Any more? Yeah, I know about that one. Thank you. I know, I know, I know. So let's upset the Sentinels just a little bit. I need to bit get my jetpack to recharge first. Hold on a second. So we're going to get that one, that one, and then that one. Ready? Two. Detected. That's okay. Three. Alright, got all three. So we're not messing around this time. We would head back, but we'll get attacked if we do. Whoa, okay, that's a hole. There's no uh, creatures, is there? No? Okay. I think the last one we need is underneath the ground, isn't it? I mean, in, in the water, I think. They're right there, but they don't see me. I really don't feel like running further away. Got it. Done. Bring in the ship. That way we don't have to go back. You can't call in your ship while you're running away from Sentinels, by the way. It won't let you do it while you're in combat, it says. What is it telling me? Nothing, apparently. Okay. Back into our ship. And back to our base. So that was really awesome. Okay. Just over two hours. Gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. I really want to complete these missions out so that way our next episode is strictly going to be the Apollo and Artemis missions. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so we want the far side one. There we go. And we're out. Peace. Kidding. Here we go. Take your Gravitino Ball. Did you enjoy your adventure, friend? No. Your expedition to find our orb? No. I have waited for you faithfully. There is something about the way Attendant now speaks that, for all their kind words, suggests a resentment saved only for the deepest of enemies. But they would not have come to work here if we were enemies. Of course not. We are friends. The Overseer asks for the Gravitino Ball so they can finish the Starship Technology design. We give it. As ever, I am so grateful for your assistance, friend. Okay, so we got a phase beam, which we don't really like. Have you ever wondered what happens after death, between expiration and rebirth? Meditate upon an annihilation. Harvest Mordite from the dead. It is the only way to escape. Since the Overseer arrived, I've had a recurring dream, a nightmare that feels like a memory. Flesh merged with metal, a world of glass that blinks. Isn't that interesting? 
flesh merge with metal, a world of glass that blinks. Guess what? That's the void. A planet with green skies and an obsidian moon, a dream where I see my grave. As I snap back to reality, there is a moment before I can shake the image, the wound on the world lingering before my eyes. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. The overseer asked me to harvest Mordite, a material found in the bodies of slain creatures, except... The Overseer served me well. Perhaps their task will free my mind from these lingering nightmares. Interesting. And no, we're not going to install the phase beam. Gather Mordite. How much does it want? We're putting the uh, Gravitino Balls away. Okay, let's see. They're in there now. Mordite, Mordite, Mordite is in my inventory already? Oh, I got selenium in here too. Let me get rid of that. Where's the mordite? I know I've got it. I'm looking right at it. I know I am. There it is. Purple. Okay. Is that enough? Yep. Got a check mark. Just gotta wait for the icon to appear. There it is. I can see the change in you, friend. You have completed your task, and I have seen the world as you see it. I do not entirely understand what I have done for the Overseer, but they seem once again ready to reward for my actions. Give Mordite. Here, take these schematics. May the things you build always remind you of those you killed to construct them. Yeah, okay. Exocraft Terminal. Uh, we will not be doing those yet. It'll be a little while. We're going to go through some other episodes before we do that. Geology Cannon. Very nice. Not my favorite item, just so you know. Um, it says to install it. I'm going to go ahead and unpin that. We do need to do that. I'll go ahead and put the terminal in. Yeah, it should be this one right here. And I'm going to put you in here, my friend. Actually, do we have room in here for you? I don't think we do. No, we don't. We'll put you over here. Kind of an out-of-the-way position here, but that's okay. There we go. That looks okay. Okay, so we need to hire an Exocraft technician. What I'm going to do is we're going to put this episode out at this point. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go back to doing Ghosts in the Machine, and we're going to come back to the Exocraft after we do Ghosts in the Machine. So we're going to get some more of the other missions done. We'll do the Exocraft episodes real quick. I might put that out as a special episode, and then we'll come back with the rest of this. So it will be kind of an out of sequence for the Exocraft episode real quick. So I'll probably drop that on like a Monday or something along those lines. And then we're also going to be doing Under Rebel Star. I don't really want to do the uh, uh, settlement real much because of it's, it's just too much. It's too much. There's so much to be done. I've done those settlement episodes and I know you guys have seen it. Um, so I'll leave that be. But there is another couple episodes we're going to do as well. But let's go ahead and close this one out and call it a day. I want to thank you all. Let's go ahead and just jump in and out of the ship real quick for a restore point. There we go. All set. I want to thank you all for watching. I know this was a long episode, but thanks for, toughing, for sticking it out, guys. Appreciate it. Please hit the like. Please hit the subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.